The next relationship type in the foreign key list is a one-to-one -one recursive. One-to-one -one recursive is the same as a one-to-one, -one, except that both entities in the relationship is the same kind. So it would be a relationship that, say, left branch, had a connecting line to a relationship and came back to branch. And we don't have a recursive relationship in our scenario, so we'll skip that one. And a many-to-many, -many, if we look, we do have a many-many relationship between user and account. So we can go ahead and implement that. So to implement this, we need to find the new associative entity added in step two. And there it is, it's that user account right there. And we're going to copy the primary key of each related entity and add it as foreign keys in the new associative entity. So I need to move, copy the primary key from user and put it here, an account number in here, but I need to designate it as a foreign key. So I have the wrong table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull over this other kind of table that allows me to have them. I'm looking ahead because often associate tables are like this, but not always. This user account. And I'm going to put the user ID as one of the keys and account number as the other. And now we know that they're foreign keys. So we'll designate them as foreign keys. So we copied the primary key and added as a foreign keys in the new associate table. And now we need to decide about the primary key. We need to remember that it needs to be uniqueness, it needs to be unique over time. And it may be a combination of the two foreign keys just added, or it may be a combination of one or both foreign keys and another attribute, or we may need to add a surrogate primary key. So in this particular case, both of these are unique in their own tables, but they're not unique here because we might have a user that has multiple account numbers. So that user would be in this, would have multiple records in this table. Uh, we have account numbers that are associated with more than one user. So an account number is going to show up once for each user of that account. So the account number is going to be in here multiple times. So neither one of these are unique in this entity. So we can't use either one by itself. Now if we combine them and use a composite key, will that give us uniqueness? So would ever a user ha be associated with account number two different times, and, and it wouldn't. So in this case, these will be able to be both, so we can use these then to be primary keys in combination. So they'll be both a primary key and a foreign key. And that will be sufficient for this table. And we don't have any other entities that we're going to be using here. We didn't have an entity that showed up related to this particular relationship. So that's the entire associative table. It just has the primary keys of the related tables, and those keys are both foreign keys and primary keys.